uh, Mr. Uh, Hi, just gonna take a moment before we actually start the evil run. I was told that my uh, evil run can totally and utterly explode if I don't uh, take some precautions, and that precaution is, um... Oh man, that's gonna take some catching up, won't it? Um, do I have an autosave that's in a more reasonable position? For some reason, one of them is empty. Uh, quick saves, where is my... Oh no, these are all the quick saves. So I got some catching up to do. Um... I think the game should still let me skip. Let's see, that's 29.30. Okay. I'll, uh, catch you in a moment. I guess we can do Kevin. How about not? How about not? So apparently, um, the way it works is everything is, is, is saved in, in, in time-independent variables. So technically, if I go back here, and that's the person who's been informing me, who's a real chummy guy about this. Okay, okay, let's skip ahead. So, <laughs> there's gonna be something funny with the Yadin evil end. But, um, yeah, it seems you can generally do uh, scenarios in two ways. Let's get the neutral end. Come on! I can't believe I can't skip any of that. Get some well deserved rest. Wait, did I get some new cards? Oh, yeah, of course, because... And, uh... Wait. Can I kill everyone? So here's the thing. Remy dies if uh, you do a certain subset of actions. But I don't want to do them. Uh, okay, so she just... So, the fact that uh, Adin is dead to me shows that you not telling her not to fly gets her killed. She dies trying to fly. So, fun fact, um, this means that every single character can die. Uh, Bryce goes dead if you let him go first, because he would probably trigger the thing. Um, Remy is apparently suicidal enough that if you fuck around with him, he just f offs himself. Um, so you end up with everyone dead. I don't think anything special happens if you do, but um, I might go for that one time, just to see if anything particularly special happens. I doubt it. That's the cool part, is it skips until you reach a message that you've seen. Let's go alone. <laughs> what? But <laughs> I have never met some of them in in this playthrough. Uh, whatever. I guess this isn't a bad playthrough. And Nadine is dead. And skip mode doesn't even work. That's cool. <sighs> oh, Remy. Fireworks! I can't skip this, even though I've technically already seen this image. And related sound effects. Ah, so, apparently things work with time-independent variables. Yeah, I can do this. Well, just telling to cops, the cops to come to the portal isn't a big deal. Sebastian getting off, though. Like, what the fuck? Why kill him? He doesn't have to die. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. All about the past, uh, shit's kind of fucked. What? When the hell did I make this? Am I- what the fuck? The guy said the neutral ending wasn't special, but this is amazing. That's... The neutral ending is... <sighs> yeah. We're kind of at a situation where you can save one world guaranteed, one, two, both worlds, kind of eh, and now I've got a bet that just fucks everyone up.
he got the better leverage because he has directed uh, killing power. So that's why the uh, image is a gun. That's just the worst thing ever. So, you try to stop him, you fail, the administrator never shows up, and the fireworks are still there. Well, I killed Reza. I guess that's a semi-good thing. Although he did blow up a generator. Am I Reza? Is that what's going to happen? Because that'd be kind of weird. So can you canonically die? Because it's entirely possible that the evil end is just me dying. And, and the game is just like, no, this is a, this is a timeline that never happened. Oh man, the administrator so sounds like an understanding person. Is she, to what we know so far? Oh, that's so positive! The new training is great! I love it! Huh. <laughs> I like how it basically says, your memory isn't perfect, so you might forget some things just purely due to time distortion, but also because, you know, the player would just forget things. So does this prepare me? So the time portal can fix you. If you die, you can go back in time and become alive again? I mean, that's a, a step further, but that's impressive, if, if it could. Okay, so now we get the ending part where Reza's fucked up. This was interesting. I like the neutral ending. It's actually really good. Because it captures something else. Come on, I, can I just... No, there's no way to skip this. Like, no, none of the buttons do anything. The skip mode thing still pops up. But that was nice. Um, like, I like that Reza dies, but you still don't get what you want. Um, everything is still really bad. Even though you, you tried, but you didn't get what you want, you know? Portal broken makes sense. Like, the neutral ending is good for one reason. It's a human ending. It's this ending of you can't do anything. You don't have the manpower or the, the tools and equipment to handle a situation. But you still try. You have to try. And then you fail and everything is bad because of bad luck. Just like the administrator said, sometimes you can't explain it. Sometimes it's just bad luck. So here we see the sun because now everyone is fucked. Like, Reza doesn't even get to save humanity now. Humanity's also boned. That's such a weird thing to consider because of time travel. Like, humanity is now, canonically, there is an ending where they are fucked. I don't know how the timelines work. They might loop into themselves and fix themselves as they go along. But why was the administrator there, is my question. If the administrator's operating hideout is somewhere else, why were they there at that time? Did they know? Hey, there's me. Dragonwise, Flo, Dirt. He's uh, another guy we're gonna meet. Um... Yeah, some of these people used, like, their fucking name for this stuff, and I'm like, ugh. At least I used a side character that I happen to have. And remodeled it. She does miss a few details. She does miss the flames on her eyes, and she could have had some sort of fins on her head, because her canonical form is like a mohawk of giant puffballs, and it looks really cute. That doesn't matter. When you make changes like that to adapt to other fandoms, you at some point, you just have to make some fundamental changes to the character. Although the cardboard box does leave some to the imagination. So I was told that this is a time-independent variable. I can just reload my evil save, go on my way, all things are fine. So that's uh, an intermezzo to get the neutral on, because apparently if I don't, I get fucked during the, uh, during the... I don't mean, like, it's bad. I mean, the game says... The game breaks. The game just explodes. Um, yeah, no gallery item. Detonation. It would have been cool if there was, like, an explosion behind this now. But I guess the neutral one is like, you fucked up, it's not special, don't do it. It's like the evil run. You're not supposed to do it because it's not a fun ending. Um, so next time, evil run. And, um, it's gonna be a hoot. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a hoot. Also, apparently Bryce doesn't let me go first, so I'm gonna do that. And he gets to fuck himself. 
Yay.